we have them on stage okay uh, unfortunately hamare sath yahan pe uh, uh, upendra ji and avinash ji nahi hai aaj uh, but we have them here hi guys how's it looking the the announcements that happened for the cast they are fabulous they are so creative thank you ek ek jo announcement hai wo itne creative tarah se banaya gaya hai what's the kind of response that you guys are getting on that it's been very good and very encouraging which has uh, motivated us to have this event and present our trailer uh and i think the credit also goes to the incredibly talented marketing team at excel that kind of put their minds together and said that we have to do justice to the characters that have been created and i Manji, think huh? it's really kind of in a way given you a a taste of what the characters are going to be like in the film all right and uh, it's the right build up for the trailer so i'm very happy with the what we had and i really want to know about your connection with goa what is oh. that is is that one of your favorite topics यार गोवा ना ऐसा लगता है कि हर बच्चा जो बम्बई शहर में या आसपास गोवा के बड़ा हुआ है उसकी जिंदगी में हमेशा ये सपना वहीं से शुरू हुआ है कि मैं गोवा जाऊंगा क्योंकि वो जितना ही नज़दीक आपको जोग्राफिकली लगता है उतना ही आपसे दूर है और उसको वहाँ तक पहुँचने के लिए बहुत सारी अड़चने आती हैं अलग अलग दौर में सबसे पहले पेरेंट्स की फिर पॉकेट मनी की फिर फाइनेंस की फिर उन दोस्तों की जो कभी मिलकर एक प्लान बनाएंगे और वो सक्सेसफुल होगा कि नहीं तो उसके अलावा मैं ये भी चाहता था कि इस फिल्म में कहीं ना कहीं वो एक्सपेक्टेशन वर्सेस रियलिटी के साथ कुछ एक्सपेरिमेंट करने की कोशिश करूं हाँ। तो गोवा इज बीन वेरी स्पेशल फॉर मी बिकॉज मेरे लिए भी उतना ही चाव था गोवा जाने का और जब वहां गए तो बहुत ही मज़ा आया हाँ। फिर जाते रहे जाते रहे जाते रहे और मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि बहुत रिलेटेबल है इसीलिए बहुत सारी फिल्मों में उसे यूज़ भी किया जाता है तो आई थिंक जैसा अमेरिका में लोगों के लिए बेगस है वैसा हमारे लिए गोवा है so so what happens in goa stays in goa also vesa bhi hona chahiye sometimes it follows you back <laughs> yeah. and but you have this time it's on screen it's on screen yeah. it's all there visible yeah. now but yeah and i think i i have a little joke about goa also because like you very correctly mentioned ke goa aapko ek bar bulata hai to bar bar bulate rehta hai i think i really like word play so i think that's why it's called goa could be could yeah, be a reason right could yeah, be a reason nice two minute silence <laughs> yes. and we'll move on <laughs> okay and about divindu and pratik people are really loving your uh, you know announcement also that happened and especially you guys in sarees wow that's fabulous that's first of its kind that we've seen the two of you did you all have a lot of fun behind yeah, man, yeah. the scenes that also that was Please really fun tell us about that initial few days yeah definitely fun but huh. when you have to do it day after day it's not so much fun <laughs> but but for any any actor you know to have that uh, female energy you right. know channelize somewhere it's really fun and in this case because we have so many mad situations you know huh. action happening in like full navari and all pen ke huh. uh, so i i thoroughly enjoyed it was that comfortable or did that take a little bit of time for you to get comfortable in the navari sari i huh. was little uncomfortable after a while huh. but uh, the fact that people really were comfortable looking at me huh, i was uncomfortable <laughs> so a lot of pervs we had <laughs> Yeah. What about you, Pratik? It was absolutely fun. Yeah. In fact, sari me, dordne me, bahut maza aaya. Shuruat me jo itna uncomfortable lag raha tha, jab yeah. hum shoes aur sari pen ke dord rahe the, to it was absolutely comfortable. Aur sari ke liye pehli baar maine pair pura, matlab wo shave kiya tha, so that was a bit uncomfortable for me. Was that the first time like you had to do that for the sari? Yeah, matlab I felt the pain here. Wo wax wala kiya kya pura? Oh ho ho ho! It's looking so fabulous. What's the response that you're getting for that? First of all, hi everybody. Thank you for coming out today. I hope you guys are going to like the trailer. My diva queen promo that came out, uh -huh. actually people loved it. They thought it was hilarious uh because there was that twist right that happens. So, um many people messaged me saying they can't wait for the trailer and I love comedy. It's mm -hmm. my vibe. So, I'm so happy that Kunal called me to be a part of the film in Excel. Called me also to be part of the film, and I can't wait until you guys see how funny these boys are. They're hilarious. Not at all, actually. To be very honest, this was, as people say, that this is a product of love. Yeah. I think this is a product of rage. When I was very angry, I felt like what was happening at home. I didn't understand what was happening. So I felt like either I was angry at myself and crying, or I was going to do something that would make me laugh and make others laugh. So from that, my experience with Express began. तो ये किरदार दीज आर द कैरेक्टर्स दैट एक्चुअली हेल्प मी आउट ऑफ दिस टाइम इन लाइफ एंड एंड दे बिकेम लाइक माय इमेजिनरी बेस्ट फ्रेंड्स एंड आई स्टार्टेड वीविंग अ स्टोरी अराउंड देम मुझे बस इतना पता था कि ये तीन दोस्त हैं और जैसे हम बचपन में गोवा जाना चाहते थे इनको भी बार बार कभी कभी मौका नहीं मिला है जाने का तो 
تین ایسے لوگ جو بمبئی میں رہتے ہوئے بھی تیس پینتیس سال کی عمر میں اب فائنلی پہلی بار گوا آہ. جائیں گے اور کس طرح سے ان کے ساتھ کیا ہوگا تو میں بس ایسے ہی ان کے ساتھ ان کرداروں کے ساتھ جرنی پہ نکل گیا اسٹوری مجھے ملتی گئی وہاں سڈنلی کنچن کمڑی ملی ان کے ساتھ گھومتے گھومتے سڈنلی منڈوزا بھائی مل گئے تو ویسے دیٹس دا وے آئی ایکچولی ڈسکور دس سو دیز کیریکٹرز دیٹ یو تھاٹ آف یہ آپ کو امیجنری وے میں ملے یا آپ کو ایسے کیریکٹرز ایکچول میں ملے جن کے اوپر آپ نے پھر نہیں نہیں کسی پہ کسی پہ آدھارت نہیں ہے لیکن مجھے ایسا لگتا ہے کہ کہیں نہ کہیں جب آپ لکھتے ہیں تو یو بورو فرام یور اون لائف اینڈ تھنگس دیٹ یو ہرڈ اور یو نو ریڈ اباؤٹ تو کچھ کچھ نوانسز ہیں کچھ کچھ ٹریٹس ہیں کچھ اپنے دوستوں کی جو کہیں نہ کہیں ان کرداروں میں ڈالی گئی ہیں جیسے جو پرتی کا کردار ہے اس کا نام پنکو ہے میرا ایک بہت ہی خاص دوست ہے بچپن سے اور ابھی بھی دوست ہے اور اس کی ابھی تک یہ عادت ہے کہ وہ بچپن سے بھی جب گھر سے ہم کہیں جاتے تھے تو تب تو سیل فون نہیں تھے تو اسٹیشن پہنچتے وہ پہلا فون لگاتا تھا ممی کو ہاں ممی ہم ابھی اسٹیشن پہنچ گئے ہیں پھر ہم ٹرین میں چڑھ کے وہاں پہنچتے تھے تو وہاں سے ایک فون لگتا تھا کہ ہم اتر گئے ہیں پھر اسٹیشن مطلب پکچر دیکھنے گئے تو تو وہ ایسا لگتا تھا جاسوس لے کے چل رہے ہیں ہم یہ ساری خبر دیتا جا رہا ہے اور مزے کی بات یہ کہ ابھی بھی ابھی اس کی شادی ہو گئی ہے ابھی بھی وہ ایسا ہی کرتا ہے لیکن اب اس کو ایک اور کال لگانا پڑتا ہے اپنی بیوی کو اس کو بھی بتانا پڑتا ہے ہم کہاں ہیں تو وہ کہیں نہ کہیں اس کا ایک مجھے وہ نوانس تھا جو میں نے پنکو کے کردار میں ڈالا اویناش کا جو آیوش ہے وہ ہمیشہ وہ لڑکا تھا جو لوگ جو لوگ کہتے ہیں نا کہ بیٹا ایسے لوگوں سے دوستی کرو ایسے بچوں سے دوستی کرو گے تو تمہارا بھی اچھا ہوگا جو بہت ہی آئیڈیل بچے ہوتے ہیں وہ 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 تھا دیویندو وہ کیریکٹر تھا جو کہتے ہیں بیٹا اس سے دوستی مت کرو یہ ڈبا دے گا یہ برباد کر دے گا تم کو تو وہ ویسا دوست تو ان ایسے تین لوگوں کی دوستی جس میں ایسا لگے کہ یہ تیرو یہ کیوں ہے ان دونوں کے ساتھ جو آیوش کا کیریکٹر کہ یہ ان کا دوست کیسے بن گیا تو دیٹ واز دا فرینڈ شپ دیٹ آئی وانٹ ایکسپلور واؤ اینڈ لائک یو مینشن کہ دیویندو کا ایسا کیریکٹر ہے جو اپنے فرینڈس کی کہیں نہ کہیں لگا دیتا ہے نوئنگلی ان نوئنگلی لگا دیتا ہے دیویندو آپ کتنا ریلیٹ کرتے ہو اس کے ساتھ میں کیا آپ سچ میں بھی وہ دوست ہو جو آپ کے فرینڈس کمپلین کیا بولنا چاہتا ہے تو میں پوچھنا چاہ رہا ہوں مطلب میں لائف میں بالکل ایسا آدمی نہیں ہوں ڈوڈ آئی ایم اے ویری نائس اینڈ ریسپانسبل گائے میں اپنے دوست کے ساتھ بہت اچھے سے سم ٹائمز ایسے ہوتا ہے کیا کہ کسی دوست کے ساتھ اپ ٹرپ پہ جا رہے ہو انوئنگلی تو دوست ہی بتا پائیں گے میں نے کیا ہوگا تو نوئنگلی میں نے کبھی نہیں کیا ہے ہاں جی بٹ یا آئی ایم ناٹ لائک ڈوڈو ایٹ آل تھوڑا ہاں مستی وغیرہ لائف میں چلتا ہے بٹ دوستوں کو کبھی ایسے پھنسایا نہیں جیسا جیسا جو ڈوڈو کرتا ہے اتنا انٹنسٹی نہیں ہے لائف میں فور دس اوکیژن ان دس فلم Seven years ago, I took my friends to Goa okay. uh, on the train. So I guess it's the same train because <laughs> it goes to Goa from Mumbai. And uh, it was my first time going to another city via the train. Uh, we were super excited. My friends were not from here. So I was really like in that mood of showing off, ki, ah, this is Mumbai, this is Goa. So I'm train mein the and we were chilling. And randomly I saw a very big rat right next to my head oh, in the train where I was sitting and I Goa have tha, yes <laughs> yeah and I have a fear of rats it means like it's very traumatizing so I screamed and I started running and I don't know where to go in the train like where do you go do you jump off the train you know it was that bad <laughs> so and my friends they're like what is wrong with her and I'm like ah screaming running So then they were looking for me and they found me almost near hanging off the train because I was so scared to go back inside the train. Oh the train God. is going and I'm like, <laughs> you know, wind Imagine is Nora <laughs> Yeah, and there was like a good 10 hours left to reach Mumbai, oh. uh, to, re- to reach Goa by that time. So I, that was the worst 10 hours of my life. Exactly. I can't even yeah. imagine those 10 hours how you may have No, when I reached Goa, I was like done. Finished. Did you ever take a train again after that for Goa? I mean, in, in Maharashtra, yes, but to another but not, city. But well, not no. that one, because that yeah. particularly reminds you of that R- very the moment. The rats, yeah. Okay. Uh, Rucha Ji, who is a co-producer, I want to ask you to ask you. Considering that Excel Entertainment is such an amazing record hai, with such friendship films like Dil Chata Hai, Zindagi Na Milegi Dobara, Pukre, so what exactly appealed to you in this film? Um, can you hear me? Yeah, you okay, can hear okay. you. Yeah. Uh, actually, Um, I always knew uh, Kunal was a really good actor, uh, but when he came and narrated this uh, script to us, I realized that he's also a really good writer. And uh, then when he directed it, we realized he was a really good director also. Uh, but it w- we didn't, uh, it is just a coincidence that it happens to be about three friends who uh, uh, are trying to fulfill their childhood dream of going to Goa. It just so happened that 
he narrated it to Excel and Ritesh and Farhan really liked the script. And it's a coincidence that it's three friends and it feels like a Dil Chata gone wrong. Uh, but uh, it's a pure coincidence. I think this is a story that uh, Kunal has been uh, living with and dreaming for a really long time. So uh, it's just the script that really appealed to all of us. Fabulous. And I will be asking Pratik that you are so amazing and hilarious in this trailer. Mein. Comedy is coming so naturally to you. So are you considering more uh, comedy roles henceforth? Of course, yeah. I always felt that comedy is a difficult genre, but I loved comedy. Uh, this is for the first time that I have explored comedy uh, on screen. It was the first time that I have explored comedy on stage. No one has explored comedy with me. So this is the first time that I have done and I am I'm happy to whatever that I have seen right now. I have seen the trailer now for the first time, so it's a fresh reaction to me. It was actually my idea. I had seen it in a play and I told Kunal that he is very good at comedy. He has a chance to give him 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 a chance. I don't know the whole story. Why are you talking about it? Yes, but you are doing this picture. Why are you suggesting me? If you are watching this video on YouTube, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon. If you are watching this video on Facebook, then like our page. Don't forget to press the bell icon. Don't forget to press the bell icon. Don't forget to press the bell icon.